How you doing everybody? Adam from developphp.com here once again with part two of our little tutorial series on building custom forums into your website. And before I even create the forums directory or start setting up the layout that I want the forums to have, I want to mention one thing to you guys. You can have your forums be in the main directory of your website along with your home page and everything like that. Since it's not going to be many files, it powers it. I'm going to choose to put mine in a separate directory. That way it can be more of something that can just be plugged in by people with various types of websites. But you can have it in its own directory, like I'm going to set it up, and it reflect your layout of your site exact. For instance, here at Web Intersect, I can make my forums have this exact layout. Just like I have it at developphp.com, if you click the forums, it has the same layout with all my menus and header bar and everything all the way through the forums, even when you're viewing forum topics. But in the Web Intersect website, I'm going to have a button up here that says Forums. And when you click that, it's not going to look like this directory does. It's not going to have that header bar. It's not going to have their profile links or anything like that. It's going to be a whole separate directory, but we'll still be able to sense when the user's logged in, no problem. So my point is you could have your forums be in the root directory of your website along with all your other files that are there now. Or you can do like I'm going to do and put it in a separate directory called forums. That way people will have to get to it like this. And that's the link to the forums. That's how we're going to set it up. And I'm going to have a different header up top. But like I said, we'll still be able to sense the user's session variables and all that good stuff. All right, I'm going to go here where the website files are on my computer system, and I'm just going to put a new folder in. I'm going to call it Forum. And there's my forum directory for my Web Intersect website. I can just minimize that. Here in Dreamweaver, I'm going to create a new PHP file. I'm going to go to File, Save as, Forum, Index. So it'll be index.php saved into my forums folder. And we'll be able to see that if we go into the forums folder. Okay, all right. Now that's the home page of your forums. This is the page where people will see all the forum categories that you have. Now here in Fireworks, which is my graphics editing tool, I have a couple of graphics ready to go. This is going to be my header file, my header graphics for my forums. This is going to be a repeating div. It's going to go across the top. So working with this and this repeating div, I should have a pretty nice bar going all the way across the top that says Web Intersect Forums. So in the file, I can go right in here into the body section. And actually, if I want it to look right, let's go into Design View. Let's go into the Page Properties. Put Left Margin 0. Let's make all the margins 0. Apply, and you'll see what that put as CSS. See that? In the body tag, or in the body style definitions, you have margin left, top, right, bottom, all zero. You can make those any numbers you want. So in the body tag, let's put in a div. Remove the content that's in the div. Now I'm going to give that div a background image, which is this file here. And that's going to repeat on the X plane. So I have to export that first. So I'm going to export this file and this file as optimized JPEGs. I'm going to export them out of Fireworks by going to the export wizard here. I'm going to put them in the style folder that's going to be in my forums. And I'll show you. I'll make that right now. Inside the forum folder, new folder style. There you go. So that's where I'm going to save those two image files. So now inside of this div, I can simply go to Style, Background Image, Browse, Style, and I'm going to use that Forum Top Bar BG. And I'm going to make sure that has Background Repeat set to Repeat X. Now let's check out the size of this. Canvas size was 240 by 160. So really all I'm interested in is the height, the 160 number. 
So back in Dreamweaver, set this height to 160 pixels. And see what we have in Design View. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted. Actually, I'm going to go into Fireworks and I'm going to change this file. I don't need all of this. Let's get rid of that and that. And I'm going to save this as a transparent PNG. Let's get the canvas up on it a little bit to where it's about 150 maybe. Make sure it comes down from the top. Beautiful. Now it's File, Export Wizard. I'm going to save this as a PNG with no background. Matte, clear, PNG, export, forum header BG, save. And now that's the one that I'll put on top here. That way everything will be real smooth. So what I want in here is a header div that's going to be inside of this div. So I'm going to go into the code view. In this div I'm going to make sure this has text align of center. That way everything inside of it will be centered. All right. Now within that div, we're going to put another div here. OK. Let's remove the content. This one, let's give this one a style as well with the background image. This PNG file, I'm going to put that right on top of that other div. Or inside, rather. And this one also needs a height. So let's make sure we check the height on that canvas. It was 900 wide, 150 high. So we can go in Dreamweaver and put those attributes here. Width was 900 pixels, semicolon, and the height was 150 pixels, semicolon. Save. Design. Okay, that's what we have. Well, the text align center didn't work out like I planned, so I'm going to div align center that whole div and that should give me what I want. Okay, so that's what I have to start off with is custom header graphics and then I'm going to start underneath that with page output. Now the reason why I put PNG file up there is now watch when I move this window around. That's a pretty smooth effect, huh? That way you don't have graphics that are cut back there and making making a funny effect when people are resizing that window or whatever or no matter what size it is, it'll always look smooth. Those header graphics will look smooth on there. And keep in mind that you can have any kind of HTML or flash going on up inside of this div. Because remember, this is only, this graphics here is only a background for that div. So you can put whatever you want inside of that div still. Could be a table also if you wanted more columns and rows inside of any sections going on up here. So I might have some links up top here. Maybe a link going back to the main web intersect directory, the main part of the website. I can put whatever I want in that div. And here it is, this little box right here. I'll just put a space in it for now. So on this page, you don't really need to have a check to see if somebody is a logged in member of your site. Because you want everybody to be able to view your forums. If you wanted only members to be able to view your forums and the topics and everything, then you only want to give, then you'd want to check the sessions and see if they're a logged in member of your site on this home page of the forums. But most forums operate to where anybody in the world, whether they're logged into your site or not, any visitor can view any of the forum topics. It's only in the page where you would add a new topic or reply to some topics where you want to make sure that people are logged in before you give them certain forms and abilities to interact. But what we do have to do on this home page is put some PHP code to get the forum sections out of the database. We're going to have to have a little table in the database and it's going to have to be holding the forum section titles, whatever their ID is for them and the order that you want it to display on the page here in the home page because usually a forum is set up say like develop PHP's forum for instance let's go there and look at the home page of the forum you see how there's sections these are different forums within the message board so you click that one you go into the PHP and MySQL forum you go in this one you go into the flash forum so that's pretty much what you want on your forums index page, the home page for your forums. 
and we're going to query those out of the database. You can manually put them in if you want, but we're going to create a system that holds the forum sections, the titles and everything for the forum sections in a little table in the database. All right, let's set up the table that we'll need to get started here. And we'll call this forum sections. So log into your PHP my admin software on your server. Create a new table on your database. Let's give it, let's see, we need an ID, we need the title, and we also need the order. Really, I think all we need is three fields for now. If I need to add more, I will. Press go. There's a little button off to the side that says go. Press that. Now the first field, you want to be ID. Second field, title. And third field, ordered. Because you can't just put the word order there. You'll get an error if you try and run scripts like that with that key term as a field name. So make it ordered or orders or bizorder, whatever you want, as long as it's not the word order. This one, int, make sure you make it primary and click the auto increment checkbox there. Title is going to be varchar with a max of, I don't know, 64, 88, whatever you want. And ordered is also going to be int. And let's just put a 10 on that. So we're not going to have very many. Actually, you could have a 2 on that if you want. I'll just make it 10. Then down at the bottom, press save. Now, insert. Put in the first section. Okay, so this is the title of my first section, PHP, Dyna PHP Dynamic Scripting Help. And the second section is SQL Syntax and MySQL Database Help. So those will be my first two forum sections. My ordered values are 1 for the first section, 2 for the second one. It's very simple. I'm going to press go. Okay, so you can clearly see what I have in my forum sections table in my database. So this table is called forum sections. Here's my title for my sections, the order that they are to display in, and here's their ID numbers, which these will never change, but you can go in and change these and even make yourself a little admin panel where you can change the order of these numbers. But we're not going to go that in depth. You can just go straight into PHP My Admin here and change these numbers up. Now with this dynamic information we'll go into the index page and right up top we'll start a PHP block because we're going to have to put in a little script here that's going to access the data in that little table we just made and make us a nice little list according to what's in it. First thing is connect to your database. And for that you're going to jump one folder out of the forums directory into the main directory and then go into the scripts folder and connect to the mysql.php file. Now here's the little query that you want to write. So we're putting the query into a little variable called SQL. And the query string is select all from forum sections order by ordered ascending limit 10 because I only have four sections in my forum right now so I can limit that to 10 that'll be real safe I could actually limit that to 4 but I'm just gonna leave it on 10 in case I add a few more sections now in the next line we're gonna initialize a display list variable it's just gonna be a container that's gonna hold things for us inside of this while loop so right here inside of this while loop we're fetching the array that is the MySQL output from that query and in each one we can access the sections ID and the sections title. You put that into a little link that's going to go to a page called section.php ID equals section ID. So it'll have a URL variable attached to it when it goes to that page. That way section.php will know what section to display. And then you slap the section title in the link word display area. That way that title itself will be a link and you can set that up to be any kind of display you want it could be a big div a little block container whatever you want but I'm keeping it simple I'm just gonna have a link and then a break tag maybe even two break tags and to make this display on the page we just simply go into the body section where we want maybe put a couple of line breaks there echo the display list and that's that let's see what that does for us Okay, so you see what that gives you? 
that gives you a dynamic list of all the forum sections that people can go into and post topics in or help people out inside of. Now you can format that any way you like and I'm going to add a little bit of CSS to it maybe to bring these things off of the edge get them centered into a container in the center of the page maybe you know you slap ads on the page and do whatever you're going to do but now you have your dynamic listing of all your forum sections ready to go you can see each one has a link to section.php and its corresponding ID for that section all right we'll pick up in part two where we'll create section.php. We'll keep it going in logical sequence here. So when the person clicks that, there's going to be a listing of all the topics that happen to be inside of that section, and you're also going to add a create new topic or create thread button inside of that page, only for people who are logged in. If anybody clicks the create topic button, that's your opportunity to recommend that they join the site. All right, so stay tuned for well, I say part two, I meant part three, because this was part two. So stay tuned for part three, where we'll make section.php.